Hey folks, welcome to uh, some Amiga unboxing. So, sort of has brought a box of goodies. I'm not quite sure what's in here. But I'm eager to find out. It's only partially Amiga related. Just to make this sure. is in a box marked TV room, so I can only assume. Uh, I don't know where that box <laughs> came from, to be fair. <laughs> all right. Wow. There's a lot of stuff in here. Do one by one. First of all, we've got. I used to have one of these for my very first PC, an old 8088. Really? Was it that kind? It was. No, it was a craft. And yeah. this is uh, this is actually slightly better than that because this one actually centers. That's a Suncom. Yeah, this is this is great. So uh, this is a Suncom Apple II joystick. Is that right? It's it's Apple II and PC. Okay, cool. And what is what is this thing? That They've been that's the up? goes to the Apple II. They've taped it up so it wouldn't short out, presumably. Oh, okay. But this is the thing. If that you plug goes it into, into the Apple, Apple II. II. Yes, sir. And we have an Apple II right over here, so we will be plugging that in very soon. Next, that is a we have the an shielding. RF shield. Yeah, that's the shielding from your. Uh, um, it's from something. It's not the hard drive enclosure. I don't know why that's in there, but <laughs> All right. shielding. From, I, I thought it went to your to your drive over there, but it probably doesn't. So I don't know. Up next, this is a SR twelve hundred. This is a modem, right? I thought it might be fun to try to call a couple BBSs sometime with the Amiga. Look at that Sears. This is a twelve hundred baud, spectacular. Who who makes is this? A, it's a Sears. Yeah, modem. Sears. So you know it's good. Sears never let you down. <laughs> All right. Well, that's, I can't wait to try this. Now this is Amiga, right? That's any. It's just a modem. Okay. And I've got the software. Oh, for this it. is so this is anything. You could plug this into any any computer. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's an external modem. Have okay. you ever used an external? Never. never. All right. Well, there you go. I'll, there's a few BBSs out there. Okay. Up next, this is a this is a vintage CD-ROM drive. Lift open. Look at that. That is cool looking. That is the oldest CD-ROM drive I've ever held. And this is a um, is this one that would go with I guess anything with a serial port, right? That's, so. Yeah, that that was used on an, on an Amiga. On, in fact, on probably the Amiga is sitting over there. Awesome. So we're gonna give that one a whirl at some point, or maybe we'll give that one a whirl. Yeah, we won't take out the AC adapter yet. Look at oh man. This is this is one that we don't have to go fishing around for a, a power adapter. So this is, a, this is the uh, more modern. Yeah, this one looks looks newer for sure. BSR 6800MX. It's got I love the one where they've got the volume you gotta control have that, on there. That headphone yeah. jack, right? And this is a yeah BSR is the um, is the company. Manufactured November 1992, right Beautiful. at the dawn yep. of the multimedia era. I'm hoping that we can get that working. So yeah, one of the two. On one of the Amiga. On, on the Amiga. Why? Why not? And this is, we have a laptop drive. That's actually the drive out of your, uh, that was in that enclosure, believe it or not. In? In your enclosure, yes. I'm not exactly sure what we're talking about anymore. My enclosure, the five, A500 enclosure over there, that hard drive came out of it. Really? Yes. Wow. I pulled it out. Okay. Because I figured it was trash, but we'll check it out. There you go, folks. Let's see how big is that boat. Does it say on there? This is um. You know it. I don't. I don't think it says. Have a look at it, man. Take a look at it. You. You know that stuff better than I do. Eighty is it here? It's either eighty-five or sixty-five megabyte, massive, <laughs> massive drive. Connor, Connor is no longer with us, but uh, I, this drive is probably a dud. But what the heck? Yeah, I brought it. All right. What we got next? And we've got a C64 big honkin' power supply. And why is that in there, Boat? Because there's a big honkin' C64 in the box. In the box. So this is your classic. Let me pop this thing off the table here. This is your classic bread box. Now I thought this would be fun for us, Boat. Go ahead and pop that over. Yeah. You know this is the Amigos, but... We're not too stupid to dip our toe in the pool of something else. <laughs> so there's actually two of them there's in here. There's two. Now I labeled those, but those labels mean nothing. <laughs> 
So two C64s. So uh, Sprite Castle, watch out, we're coming for oh, you. Oh yeah. By the way, <laughs> uh, I think all, everything in here came from the uh, fine fellow that gave me my Amiga 1200 and provided the show with that Amiga 500, uh, Larry Meyer, a great guy. He he was uh, feeling ill and he decided to send this stuff along to someone he knew would appreciate it. And, I uh, figured since it's I was the one that was going to be appreciated, I'd share it with other people that would appreciate it. Look at that, it, so. right there. Made in the USA. When's the last time you saw a piece of electronics that was made in the United States? Exactly. Now, I don't know about Boat. Boat, maybe you can tell me otherwise, but I have, I have no experience with the C64. No. I, I briefly owned one uh, that I liberated from the Hurricane High School band room. This came with them. Fast, fast, load, fast load. load. I know that's yep. good. Yep. Garfield pencil. Good. You can't have a C64 without a Garfield 1978. pencil. 1978. That's awesome. It's a good year. Believe we'll that Garfield. there. Garfield. So. So. Look at it. Just revel in the goodness. We're going to be playing with all this stuff very soon. This is just a sneak peek. And uh, stay tuned for just, you know, it's going to be the summer of Amiga goodness here with the Amigos. Adios. Adios.